Good morning, happy Thursday. Today is a fun day because we are gonna go get our nails done. Yes, I broke three nails and I'm so upset, but it's okay. And so we're gonna get our nails done today. And so I'm really excited for that. Kate is actually on his bachelor party trip this weekend. So I have the house to myself, obviously not this house because this is my parents' house, but I have uh, the house to myself. And I don't know about you guys, but when he leaves, I always feel like, ooh, I'm gonna clean everything. I'm gonna watch movies all weekend. I'm gonna eat some really fun food food and so I'm like super excited to just like make some fun meals. I can make them when he's home. I don't know why it just feels different when he's not home. I'm like let me make some fun meals. Maybe one day this week I'll do like a fun breakfast um, and yeah he comes back on Sunday so it's not like he's gonna be gone like the entire weekend but still a couple days so it makes me excited because I have to make some fun food. <laughs> I was trying to make maybe like a homemade pizza but I don't think I will. I don't know. We'll see what happens on Saturday but today I'm gonna get my nails done. Um, um, and do some other appointments. And then tomorrow I do have to stay at my parents' house for a little bit longer than normal because my poor dog Lola got surgery. And so, which I'm like watching her right now from where I'm sitting, she got some surgery. And so her, she has a really big scar. And so, you know, we can't like really leave. I have, my parents have two dogs. So they have Paisley and Lola. And I, we don't really want to leave Paisley alone with Lola just in case she like tries to lick her wound or whatever. So we decided that I'll stay home. My parents are going to go out um they had an event to go to so i offered to stay home with her so we're gonna do that tomorrow night so i'm really only home alone for like two nights <laughs> so it'll be kind of fun that's what we're gonna end up doing um i will check back in with you guys when we go get our nails done everyone happy saturday i think i left off on thursday and so yesterday i just worked and i kind of took like i don't really want to say i took the day off but i definitely took a slow day yesterday so i do have a lot of work stuff to catch up on this weekend um as you guys know kate is on his bachelor trip and so we have the house for ourselves this weekend which is so funny it's really weird for me because i lived alone for i didn't live alone for too long i would say i lived alone for a year about a little over in between that time like we started dating too so I was going over to his house a lot but still at the end of the day I mean like I came home to an apartment by myself and I lived by myself and things were done differently in my apartment I mean even right now like <laughs> As I am uh, recording this video, I'm not gonna expose myself because I am a trash person, but I hate doing dishes. And so I will leave my dishes in the sink. Like I just, I just leave them in the sink and I I don't know why. It's just a habit of mine and bad habit, but Cade likes to keep the sink like pretty clean. He likes to like do all the dishes at the end of the night. Like everything's pretty like reset in the morning for kitchen wise. So I always find it funny when I just like, I, when he's gone, I literally just leave everything in the sink. Like even in the mornings, I leave after him. I will leave all my dishes in the sink. I will get home before him so then I can clean my dishes in the sink so he doesn't think that I am a slob. <laughs> And I am a slob. And I've told him this. Like, he knows. Like, I'm like, I clean my dishes. But I do it purposely because I'm like, I don't want him to come home and be, like, annoyed with me all the time. Like, oh, I leave your dishes in the sink. Like I was saying, I lived alone for a little bit. And so I just do things differently. So I, I just laugh whenever he's gone. But um, all this to say. So yesterday I just kind of relaxed and I didn't do too much. Um, and then this morning or today, my plan was to, like, work out and do all these chores around the house and you know like just do all the things but because i didn't do a lot of work yesterday i'm like oh i do need to do a couple of things for work so my mom's podcast has to go live out on monday and so i need to edit that i did want to clean but i woke up this morning and i was like i didn't really want to go to the gym i'm not feeling it um, I don't want to say I'm feeling sick, but I just, my allergies have been like killing me. Like last night my throat was really sore. Now it's gone. And then like now my nose is really stuffy. So my allergies are just going crazy. And I think it's because the weather is changing because it was really, really hot for a while. And then it got really cold. And now it's kind of like in a weird, it's like warming up again almost. But so yeah, definitely I want to take today to just kind of chill and like not push myself too much. I do want to try to get done uh, switching over my closet and getting my closet ready for fall winter and then also um 
and filming that. And then also I wanna take my, I have a duvet cover, but during the summer I actually put it away because it's too hot and so I want to take that out because it's starting to get colder. I kind of want to do my laundry and yeah, like I said, just do some work. But I am doing a brand photo shoot next weekend. And so I definitely want to take out some of my fall winter outfits, see what I can match up. And then if not, I may have to do a little bit of shopping. I only have time for a one outfit change. So I want to try and like make the most out of my time when I'm um, shooting with my photographer, Sherry. And so my plan is to put together these outfits, maybe put together like three or four, do little reels on it, just like a styling reels, and then utilize only like two outfits. But yeah, so like I said, we're just chilling today. No makeup, hair is a mess, I'm sleepy. Um, I just made some French toast because I had some old bread in my fridge or some bread that was getting ready to be on its last leg. So made some French toast, very excited. My coffee just finished up. I'm gonna chill and maybe watch a movie right now. I'm like, it's fall, it's Halloween. Should we start watching all the Halloween movies? I already have, so I can't even say should we. I already have been watching all of the Halloween movies. I probably will go plop my butt on the couch and watch another one for the morning. And then maybe we'll start doing the cleaning and stuff. Oh, tonight we are 100% though making pizza. So tonight I'm making homemade pizza. And I'm very excited because last time I made homemade pizza, I have a pizza stone, but we just got cast iron skillets for um, from my bridal shower. And so I am so excited to use the cast iron skillet to make a pizza. So I was thinking of doing that. And then I might end up making a little bit of dessert because we have two cast iron skillets. We have a, um, I think that is 13, 10 or 13 round. And then I have a smaller one that's like an eight inch. And so I'm like, Kazuki, brownie, like one of those things. Yeah, I have such a sweet tooth, guys. Like, oh, I have a crazy sweet tooth. And so does Kate, but like we both are like, we can't have sweets all the time. So for me, like when he leaves, I think my mom used to do this when my dad would leave. And like when they left, you're like, oh, now I can have all of this junk food or all these sweets or all this whatever. So anyway all that being said and we're 100 percent making homemade pizza tonight and i'm so excited and then maybe making a little dessert we'll see how we feel um but yeah i will check in with you guys in a little bit yeah let's go have breakfast just had breakfast um showered i lounged on the couch and i watched i've been binge watching season i think it's 14 of the new york housewives i used to watch it all the time and then I watched it a lot more when I was living in New York. And then now I haven't kept up with it, but we ended up getting the Peacock subscription. And I was like, wait a minute, all of the Bravo TV shows are on it. So then I was like, why not start watching it again? <laughs> so now I'm like episode 12 or something into it. So definitely watching that. It's been a very interesting season. <laughs> I think they, I think they wrapped it up like it's done for now. I'm not sure. Um, but I've been binge watching that and now we're going to go to the store, get some stuff for pizza night. But before we do that, I just got a Amazon package not too long ago. I bought some stuff on Amazon, their second Amazon Prime Day, the like October Amazon Prime Day. Um, everyone always loves these like headphone cases and I've been wanting to try it out because I like my headphones, but I get a lot of makeup around the earpieces. So let's try those. And then I ended up getting a, um, car mount for my cell phone because I film all my videos on my phone. And sometimes I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if I could get like a car shot or like if I'm taking a road trip, I'm like, oh, it'd be really fun to like do a video of like the actual road or something, you know, like the highway. So um, I'm gonna try this out. I probably will play with it on like Monday when I have a little bit more, like, I don't wanna say time because obviously I have all day and like all weekend, but I have other stuff I wanna do. <laughs> So I think I'll play with it on Monday when I like want to figure it out. I just don't really want to deal with it right now. But I do want to try to put this on. So let's do that together. I got this like mauve kind of pink color. I always love this color. I think it looks really pretty and it's not like bright pink, but it's not, it's just neutral. And I really like it. I've been leaning towards more kind of neutral colors lately. I'm in in between. I love pink and I love bright colors, but right now I've been loving like a neutral muted kind of browns, pinks, whites, um, very subtle. Okay, cute. 
Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. I kind of like those. Um, I like the feeling of it because I do feel like I get kind of nervous like taking these anywhere because I'm like, they're gonna get scratched, like what's gonna happen to them. Um, and then I like the concept of this kind of being that cushion. So I'm not gonna get like a ton of makeup on the actual material. Cause I do it, I do wear them sometimes when I come home from work or something and I'm cooking or I'm cleaning. I like to just have them. I can't figure this thing out for the life of me. So I'm gonna have to look up if it goes this way, goes this way, if it's inside out, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's like this. I don't know, I'm so confused. It's like you're not putting it this way, do you? Maybe you do. Then I went over the top. Oh, maybe you do put it this way. I mean, that fits. Okay, okay, yeah, that fits. I guess it is like that. All right, cool. Well, now they look cute and pink. <laughs> um, so like I said, we're just gonna go to the store and I just put on like a little bit of face sunscreen. I don't really want to do any makeup today because I'm just sitting here filming or I'm gonna be cleaning. So I was like, I don't really need to put on any makeup. So we just did some face sunscreen and that's about it today. My hair is still kind of wet. Um, and so I just threw it up in a clip. Yeah, let's go get all of the ingredients for tonight's pizza night. If you have your club card. All right, quick grocery haul. So first thing is I wanna try making a pumpkin cream cold brew at home. My coffee maker actually has a cold brew setting. Uh, we might do that tomorrow morning or later today. I'm not really sure. I got some non-dairy heavy whipping cream. This is like ironic because I have something else that's dairy in here, but most of the time I'm trying to do non-dairy. I just noticed that when I have a lot of dairy, I consume a lot of dairy, my body feels really heavy. Like I feel really bloated, my face looks bloated. Like I didn't really notice it until this last year when I really cut it out. Um, Cause I was trying to fix it for, or I was trying to cut it out for my face and it wasn't, it, one, it didn't really do any difference with my face, but I did notice my weight significantly dropped when I cut out dairy. Um, and then I noticed that I just looked and I felt better. Like I took a picture and I was like, I like the way I look in photos. I don't, you know, like, you know, when you start nitpicking all of your photos, I mean, I still do that, I'm human, but like, I liked the way I looked in photos. So for me, I definitely noticed a difference when I like cut dairy out hardcore. I do try not to like limit myself to only dairy item or to only non-dairy because I feel like a lot of times that I miss out on like fun flavors and stuff. But all of that roundabout being said, <laughs> I try to stick to non-dairy most of the time or just I like don't include dairy. Um, I try to be really semi-conscious about it. I would say like my di diet now is 90% non-dairy versus 100%. But that being said, I did get a non-dairy heavy whipping cream to try out. I have noticed this whips up pretty similar to regular heavy whipping cream. Almost has like a, I don't want to say coconut flavor. It does have like a hint of like, this isn't real dairy, but it's not that bad. I really like it. And then because because we're having pizza, obviously we're gonna have all the dairy. So I wasn't trying to be like super strict with myself. I just figured I could swap out one thing and it was good enough. I decided to get a whole pizza kit at the store and they have like a whole little section at Safeway where it's like, you know, pizza dough and pizza sauce and cheese and all that. So I decided to just make my own pizza dough, but I like getting all of their ingredients still. And so I got their pizza cheese blend. I bought the pizza sauce, the fire roasted tomatoes. I bet you could probably do this on your own or find like a better alternative, like healthier. Look, we're making homemade pizza. We're having fun tonight. We're just gonna splurge, it's totally fine. And then last time I added pepperoni onto my pizza and I really liked it. I did pepperoni, olive, and red onion. And I have red onion, so I was like, okay, I'll just buy some pepperoni and olives. So I got some sliced olives. Fun fact, when I was little, I literally only wanted cheese pizza with olives. That was my go-to, that was my favorite favorite pizza growing up but you know now i don't really eat pizza that much so i don't really get it and then also i feel like it's such a little kid thing i'm like cheese pizza with olives please <laughs> i'm like not adventurous at all but my usual usual go-to nowadays at restaurants is a margarita pizza like i am down for a margarita pizza that is like always my favorite because i'm making it at home i can play with it a little bit do my own thing so pizza with olives cheese olives red onion pepperoni <laughs> and um, I'm probably gonna do a little garlic salt and melted butter around the crust. And then last but not least, I decided to do a vanilla bean, Madagascar vanilla bean ice cream. I wanted to get it for the possible dessert that I might make. However, they literally had no like ice cream <laughs> at Safeway. I don't know what was going on, if their freezer was broken or what was happening, but they only had this one, Madagascar vanilla bean. One, I will say like, it doesn't look as white 
like vanilla-y as normal. So a little sketched out by that. And then two, I really wanted to find more of like a mini one because I don't need a whole big one. And I was like, oh, I'll just have like a little bit. And yeah, so I probably won't have all this. I'll probably only have like a little scoop. But I mean, I will say it just, it kind of looks, the coloring looks kind of weird to me, but it could just be in the container. And like maybe once I actually like open it up and stir it because even like the inside looks a little odd i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens when i open it if it's too sus for me i'll just throw it away the color looks weird the separation right here is a little odd to me but i could just be overthinking it so that is my grocery haul we're gonna put all that away we're gonna start cleaning and then it is lunchtime and i don't really know what i'm gonna eat so i might just like snack a little bit once we clean i'm gonna try to do a little bit of work maybe and then it's pizza time yay hello it is pizza time. So I've literally been cleaning all day. I mean, not all day because you guys saw me go to the store, but I came home and then I kind of cleaned up like from everything from the grocery store. I cleaned my kitchen, just like all the dishes. And then I was like, okay, time to go clean the upstairs. And I was just taking my time, like cleaning it. It was kind of like the relaxing cleaning. We were just like, La -da 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 -da. let me fix this. Oh, let me do this. Let me organize this drawer so it's like random little things which was nice because you know you have to get them done at some point but i definitely took a lot longer than i thought or expected <laughs> so now it's four o'clock we are going to make the dough for the pizza and then let it rise do its thing it takes about um looking at my cookbook it takes about an hour and 30 minutes it says which sounds about right and then uh make the pizza so i should be able to eat by like 6 37 which will be perfect timing for me I, my plan was to let this rise and then I was actually gonna clean the downstairs. I'll see how much energy I have. I feel like I don't have a lot, but we'll see. I'm gonna make the dough and my plan is to actually make another Reels because last time I made Reels when I made homemade pizza, people loved it. I probably will be doing that. I'll check back in with you guys when the pizza is done and I will tell you guys how it goes. But until then, enjoy whatever clips I have that I'm inserting. Okay, we just made the pizza dough. We're just waiting for about an hour to see if it doubles in size usually it does um, i put it upstairs because all of the heat in my apartment goes upstairs so i always find whenever i have to proof something that it's easier to actually put it upstairs and it'll get nice and proofed it'll get warm but i'm taking the pizza dough recipe from magnolia cookbook i've made it before oh it turns out really good i just haven't made it in the cast iron skillet yet so we're gonna see how that goes Fingers crossed, I think it'll be really good. But now we wait, I'm gonna do some laundry and just relax for a little bit, clean up this little mess, and then get ready to make pizza. Hi guys, so pizza last night was amazing. It was so good, it ended up being like kind of a deep dish-esque kind of pizza. Um, the crust was like super thick on it. It was really good. I saved the rest of it, of course. And then I ended up making some skillet brownies um, which those were surprisingly delicious. I didn't think they were gonna be that good. When I was like making the, the recipe itself was super easy. And when I was making it, I was like, it, it should be okay. Like, I don't know. And then I had it with some ice cream. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So definitely I loved that. It was still like a lot of serving. So I have leftovers, but super good. And I was so happy just to use, um, all my cast art and skillets and stuff to make a meal. and. It was fun. So I got the pizza dough recipe out of the Magnolia cookbook, out of the volume two Magnolia cookbook. And then I got the brownie skillet recipe off of Pinterest. So I'll leave the link to that recipe below. It was again, super good. I highly recommend if you guys actually are doing like a date night or like that is the perfect date night meal. If it only took like 20 minutes to put together the brownie skillet. So super good, highly, highly recommend. Um, and then I just watched the new Haunted Mansion on Disney Channel. I wanted to watch like something Halloween, but I didn't wanna watch, I don't like watching scary movie Halloween. I like watching Disney Channel Halloween. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not the spooky kind of Halloween girl. I'm like the like lightly spooky, fun, quirky, Kind of Halloween girl. So I wanted to watch, I had been watching all day like the Halloween Town movies because I was cleaning so I just had them on in the background. So I'd already watched all of them so I was like I don't know what to watch. <laughs> so then I was going through Disney and I saw they had that new Haunted Mansion which like 
I remember the classic, or not the classic Haunted Mansion, but I remember the old movie, um, The Haunted Mansion, with Eddie Murphy. And so I was like, oh, like, I wonder if it's going to be similar, or what's it going to be? So it was a really cute movie, actually. I did enjoy it. It was good. Um, it wasn't, I don't think they relate anything to the Eddie Murphy. I haven't seen the other one in so long, but I don't think they relate anything, like, to it. But it was a super good movie overall. Um, so yeah, I just had a good little like night in. I cleaned all the upstairs, and so today I need to clean the downstairs, which usually isn't as big as a feet as like the upstairs, because um, we only have one bathroom down here, and then like our living room, which is mainly carpet, so I just like dust and vacuum. But you can hear <laughs> all my laundry going on in the background. Cleaning all of that, and then I think maybe this week, or hopefully today, but like maybe later this week, I'm gonna take all my winter clothes out and switch over my closet. It still is in like the 80s and so I'm like, like today it's supposed to be a high of 81 and I'm like, I don't wanna switch over to like sweaters, but then again, I'm like sick of wearing t-shirts. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I do need to pull out my turtleneck long sleeve for my photo shoot on Friday. So I do wanna pull that out so I have it, um, which is in all my winter clothes. So. I do need to do that later today, which I probably will, but I don't know. But Kate is coming back today and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go to the store. Don't think he's coming home until a little bit later today, like late afternoon dinner time. So I don't know, maybe I'll make dinner or we'll just have leftover pizza because I still have a ton of pizza left. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.